Hi, Eagles everywhere. Eagles insider Dave Spadaro with Vice President Joe Douglas outside the Eagles draft room here at the NovaCare Complex. And Joe, Thursday night, Eagles fans are sitting in front of their television, having a good time. Many of them also in Nashville, getting ready for pick number 25. And then all of a sudden, the Eagles move up. And I think it was kind of a shock to the fans. Take us inside the draft room. What was it like? Yeah, I'm sure it was a su surprising and exciting for Philadelphia fans. It was exciting for us, too. Um, you know, when um, you talk about Andre, he was a guy that we really liked through this process and a guy that we thought would be a, 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 a really good left tackle moving forward. And so when we got to pick 15, um, you know, the Redskins made their pick and we were just as shocked and surprised that Andre was still on the board. Uh, so then how he gets on the phone, we start making our calls. Lo and behold, uh, he makes it to 22 and everyone's excited. Is it is it that kind of just really fast moving phones ringing? We kind of have this image that it's controlled chaos. Is that the yes, way it is? It is controlled chaos. You know, we've got our we, we have our uh, trade charts and trade sheets ready to roll, and it's a calm communication. And you know, we're we're reaching out. How he's reaching out to other GMs across the league, and we're seeing uh, you know what they're looking to do if they're looking to pick, uh, what they're looking for compensation wise. So you know, it's it's not as crazy and hectic as some would think. Andre Dillard, Washington State University, 39 straight starts for the Cougars, All-American as a senior, one sack allowed and almost 700 pass attempts for the Cougars. Tell us why you love him so much. You know, uh, my first exposure to Andre was down in Mobile at the Senior Bowl. And so the thing that jumps out about Andre is just his amazing feet. Um, you know, you see a guy and you watch him come out of a stance and you, you watch him move and redirect and you're just like, this is, this is a left tackle in the National Football League. Um, he has ideal pass protection tools. Um, and so that, that stood out the most. And then we had an opportunity to spend time with Andre. Uh, we had a formal sit down with him in Mobile. We spent about 30, 45 minutes with him and felt really comfortable with him as a person. And uh, he, he just, he's a guy that, you know, when we talk about the process after the season and, and guys, you know, Jump, uh, you know, pat, uh, jump, uh, making it through uh, hurdles, and you know, um, he's a guy that you know passed a lot of tests to get to where he's at now. Joe, you talk about the pass blocking part of his game. How about the run block part? Because that has been an area where some of the analysts have said he needs some work. Right. You know, uh, well, Coach Leach does a great job at Washington State, and his offense is predominantly a spread offense. Quarterback is uh, often in shotgun, and all, all their offensive linemen are in two-point stance, and they, they throw the ball. Uh, so they're throwing the ball 50, 60 times a game. And so um, Andre has obviously had a lot of opportunities to pass protect, um, not as many opportunities to get in a three-point stance and fire off the ball. So we're excited about working with him in that regard, and you know, we feel that he's, he's not going to have a problem in that in that uh, area. I read somewhere that he is also excellent in the screen game. So, so what do you look for from a tackle in that part of the passing game? You know, if you watch, I think if you look at our offensive line as a whole, we do a great job in the screen game. And Doug does a great job in the screen game. And that requires athletes, guys like Jason Kelsey. And, um, you know, when, when you watch Andre, him get out of a stance, gets up to the second level, Billy adjusts to moving targets and linebackers and DBs. So he, he has the body control and athleticism to handle himself, himself in space. In this process, how much does Jeff Stoutland, offensive line coach, how much input does he have in the evaluation process? Uh, Coach Stout does a great job throughout this process. His passion comes through on players. You know, he has had a chance to look, pour through every one of these offensive linemen on tape, and he has a strong opinion. And, you know, when he describes a player, the emotion and passion he brings, and, you know, when he's talking about Andre and how unique his ability is to, to bend, redirect, mirror guys uh, off the edge, you know, you can't help but get excited when he's talking about those guys. So Stout, Stout and all the coaches, they do a phenomenal job with their evaluations on players. Joe, with Andre on board, left tackle, a lot of talent there. Jason Peters and Big V and Jordan Malata and now Andre. How do you see that position and how do you see the offensive line? It's exciting. It's exciting to have some young guys and they're all going to get a chance to compete. And, you know, like I said earlier, Dave, I mean, quarterback's in one of the most important positions in all professional sports and protecting the quarterback is one of the biggest priorities. And I think that, you know, we have some young guys that are going to be able to compete and do that. So it's fair to say that Andre really satisfies the first night of this NFL draft. And on this Friday, everybody walking around here with a lot of smiles. Oh, absolutely. Everyone was excited in that draft room. There was a, there was a lot of joy, and it was a culmination of a lot of hard work. Joe Douglas, thanks so much, and congratulations. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate Thank you, Joe.